Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Do you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight? Well, stick around because I'm going to show you some delicious recipes and some delicious snacks that just might help you on your weight loss journey. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Sam and welcome to Cruise Keto Vlogs. If you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm just going to be taking you along in my day to show you what I eat. Um, I will be sharing some recipes with you today. I will be sharing with you how to make a keto oatmeal. I will be sharing with you how to make our pickled, um, pickled eggs. And I will be showing you how to make our delicious dinner, which is going to be chicken, bacon, ranch wraps. Now, when I do the wraps, I will be using a low carb wrap, but you can use whatever you have. If you're not low carb, um, if you don't want wraps, you can make the cheese shells, which is just cheese melted in a pan, and you just um, roll it up that way. Whichever way you desire, they're going to be delicious. So I will show you how I start my day, and then we will move on to breakfast, then we'll make the eggs, and then we'll make dinner. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. So let's jump right on to the video, and let's start off with how I start my morning. Okay, first things first, you guys. I always start my morning off with ketones. I have just a shaker cup. This is a 16 ounce shaker cup and it's just um, got ice and water in it. And this is what I'm having this morning. This is what I love to have before I do any exercises and I love to have this on an empty stomach. Um, you don't have to have it on an empty stomach, but that's how I do it. Um, this is just pure therapeutic ketones. This is what it looks like. Um, you just add this in to some water, give it a shake, and you're good to go. And this is um, the Nat uh, Keto S Nat. This is in the flavor Splash. And this is charged. This does have caffeine in it, so you want to have this during the morning. You want to have the caffeine free at night. So, um, here are the macros. If you want to a screenshot that there's just erythritol natural flavor citric acid um, a stevia extract caffeine and xanthan gum in here very clean ingredients very good for you these um, do help with um, maintaining your appetite throughout the day so you will be fuller for longer it does aid in digestion. It does help with focus and clarity. It does help you sleep better at night. It does help promote better skin and hair and nails. It's just so many benefits to the Privet Ketones. That's why I love taking these. Um, so we're just going to take this and we're just going to add this to our shaker cup. We're going to put the lid on. And you're just going to shake this up. Now, this is made for sipping. This is not made for guzzling, but you can if you want to. Um, I just love to have this in the morning. I usually have this about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning um, before I have any meals throughout the day and before I do my exercises <clears throat> in the morning. So I will just go ahead and make this and then I will sip on this until it's time for lunch. Um, so I'm going to drink this. If you have any questions about the Pure Therapeutic Ketones, please leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below and I will answer any uh, questions that you have about the Pure Therapeutic Ketones um, or anything like that. They are really, really good. They have so many varieties of flavors that you can try um just whatever your preference is but this is the one that i'm having today which is the splash so i'm going to drink this and then i will see you back for lunch all right you guys we are back now and we're ready for lunch we are going to be making some keto oatmeal 
this is one of my favorites because I do get in the mood sometimes for oatmeal but you can't eat oatmeal on the keto lifestyle so this is a substitute that I love it's very easy to make it requires minimal ingredients and it's very very good for you and it packs a punch with fiber but um, I've finished my ketones I'm on my first bottle of water this is just plain water it is good to stay hydrated on any form of diet or any form of lifestyle it's good to keep your body hydrated so there's that now before we start making our keto oatmeal I'm going to just run down with you on the ingredients that you will need you will need um, hemp seeds um, I keep mine in the freezer that's why it's a little um, frozen looking but I keep mine in the freezer this excuse me flax seeds this is flax seeds you will need hemp seeds I also keep these in the freezer you will also need chia seeds you will need some stevia if you like it sweet you will need a pinch of salt this is a pink Himalayan salt and you will need water and almond milk if you don't like almond milk you can do soy milk or um, coconut milk or whatever milk you like or prefer it's completely up to you so now that I've run down the ingredients let's start cooking this I will show you exactly how to do it it's very very easy it will be ready to go in about five minutes give or take a few so let's jump right on into that and I will show you exactly how to do it all right you guys all you're gonna need now is a pan this is a half a cup of water and a quarter cup of milk this is um, almond milk you can use heavy cream or you can use any type of milk that you like just pour that in there and we're just going to start heating this up you are going to need a whisk so we're just going to bring this up till it gets a little bit warm and uh, then we'll add the remaining of our ingredients all right guys this is warm it's not hot now we're just going to add in our ingredients in here I've got one third of a cup of uh, hemp seeds um, two tablespoons of flax se uh, flax meal and one tablespoon of chia seeds so we're just going to put that in there and give that a whisk now you can go ahead and add in your pinch of salt and your stevia if you like it sweet you can add in however much you like and now you're just going to stir this until it gets nice and thick or pretty much however thick that you like it so i'm just going to do that and i will show you what it looks like when we're done alright guys the oatmeal is done and this is what it looks like it looks just like regular oatmeal it's got the same feel and texture as regular oatmeal now I did go in and add a, a tablespoon of butter to mine along with a teaspoon of um, vanilla that's just how I liked my regular oatmeal um, so that's how I do this um, so now I'm just going to mix this up test it to see if it needs a little bit more sweetener it usually doesn't but if it does to you then feel free to add more but this is what I'm going to have for lunch and uh, yeah you guys this is really really good it's going to fill you up and keep you full for a long time it's going to give your body that boost with fiber um, it's going to give you sustainable energy throughout your day until you get to your next meal um, so I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you guys back when we make our pickled eggs okay you guys and now it's time to show you how to do the pickled eggs I'm just going to walk you through this these were requested by my husband you're just going to put in one cup of water into your instapot put in a steamer basket add your eggs I'm using 10 
pop your lid on, set your manual setting to one minute, set your seal to pressure, let it cook, and naturally release. Then you're just going to remove them to an ice bath, let them cool, and then peel them. Okay guys, now that you have let your eggs cool completely and you've got them all peeled, you can add them into a large mason jar and just set them aside. Then you're going to move on to your pickling liquid. You're just going to add one and a half cups of water to a medium saucepan along with half a cup of white distilled vinegar, one quarter cup of stevia or sugar, whichever one you prefer. Then you're just going to add in a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now these are optional. You don't have to add in the red pepper flakes, but we like a little kick, so we add in a half a teaspoon. You can add in more if you like, but it's completely up to you. Then you're just going to give that a mix around until the sugar dissolves, and then you're going to bring it to a boil, and you're going to let that boil for exactly one minute. Now after your liquid has boiled for one minute, you're going to turn it off the heat. You're going to pour the liquid directly onto your eggs into the mason jar until all of the eggs are completely covered. Then you're just going to carefully add on the lid. You're going to set it aside and let it cool. You will hear a pop. That is the lid setting itself. It's nothing to be worried about. It will make a pop sound. You're just going to let that cool completely pop it in the fridge for two to three days and you're good to go. All right guys, it's dinner time. So now we're just going to be making the chicken wraps. I've just got some chicken here. These are just chicken tenders. I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on there along with some of the Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning. You can see that. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm going to put it on a hot cast iron stove which I've got heating up with just a little bit of um, coconut oil and we'll just cook those and uh, I'll meet you back in just a minute. Alright guys I got my daughter's fries on cooking and I've got my chicken done and I've got a couple pieces that are chopped up where I can fit them into the wrap and I've got all of my toppings ready to go. I've got my cheese, my tomato, my bacon, my lettuce and my ranch all of that's ready to go so i'm just going to show you how i assemble these all right guys that is it it looks so good i'm just going to cut this in half and eat this i'm going to go enjoy this so that is going to be it for this video if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up hit that little red subscribe button down below so you can be part of the cruise keto vlogs family and uh Hit that little notification bell down below so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I upload new videos every single week, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.